how to get started. Here we go. Hey guys, and welcome to today's vlog. It is always great to have you with me. I am excited to talk about nutrition today. I know that we do a lot about energy healing, and of course nutrition goes along with that, so today that is what we're gonna talk about. And I'm going to tell you the five basics of where to start with nutrition. Because let's face it, it gets really overwhelming of what, where to do, and where to start. So this is the basics of it. Let's just dive right in. Number one, a good multivitamin. You need a good multivitamin because our food just now a days, it's just really um, not as nutritious as, um, as it used to be. We need vitamins to supplement what we're not getting in our diet. When picking out a vitamin, you really need to make sure that it is a good whole uh, plant-based vitamin. Make sure it's not synthetic because even though um, it may say that there's a vitamin or a mineral in there, if it's synthetic, your body really doesn't know what to do with it. But if it comes from a plant, then your body has an idea of what to do with it and it uses it up and it uses it in the proper way. So the vitamins that I really love are called AM and PM and they are from a company called Jeunesse. I am a distributor, but I really do love these just for the sheer fact that the amount of things that are in these literally wrap around. So it's on this side and it goes all the way around the full thing. That's how much stuff is in them and I love it. Like The second thing you need in your nutritional diet is a probiotic. Now we have a lot of little bacterias in our gut and that is what digests our food. And really, let's face it, the American diet or the Western diet is not really helping um, those guys to, to digest. There's a lot of toxins, there's a lot of sugar, there is a lot of really acidic -y things that is not helping. That's where candida comes from. Um, you get leaky gut. This is, this is stuff that a probiotic can really help with. The next one is lemon water. I've talked about this in another video, the seven free ways to get healthy. And I talked about lemon water and how easy it was if you don't like water to go ahead and just put some lemon in it. But these are huge, huge into getting healthy. It actually gets rid of toxins in your body. It wakes up your body in the morning. So is what I like to do is I actually, most of the time I use the lemon essential oil. I like doTERRA. Um, that's the company. I'm a distributor of those, it, but there's other companies that are great. Just make sure that if you're going to put it in water that you can drink it. Not all essential oil companies are alike. You cannot eat them all. So I really, really, really recommend that you look into if you can actually consume it and eat it. It's also going to help your immune system. So if you're fighting something, um, just taking straight lemon juice, like a lemon shooter, is going to be really big into um, helping that immune system for cold and flus, um, anything else that you think you might be catching. The fourth thing is salt. And not just any salt, not table salt, but good sea salt. Now there's a few different kinds. I personally really love the Celtic sea salt. Um, I I follow a few people who do their own testing and they really say that this has the highest mineral content. It also is very alkalizing to the body, which it takes off um, acidity in the body. It helps with um, to regulate um, electrolytes. In fact, one of the things, if you have a chronic fatigue or you have anything to do with your adrenals, try taking salt. Put a little bit in water and see if that really boosts your energy. I know when I was getting healthy and one of the things, I just had no energy and I had heard about salt. Um, I actually started with pink salt. That's fine too, as long as it's a good salt and it's got trace minerals in it, not just, um, not just straight table salt. But I took a bunch of salt just to try it out and a big old swig of water and I had a huge burst of energy and I just, I felt really good. So is what I like to do is with my lemon water in the morning, I actually put a little bit of salt in my water. Now, not enough to taste it, but enough to give me those really good trace minerals. And it does an amazing job. It gives me a lot of energy and I just 
really, really love it. The last thing I want to talk about is baking soda. Now baking soda is a really big deal in your body because it actually alkalines your body. In 1931, Dr. Otto Warburg actually won a Nobel Prize talking about how cancer cannot survive in an alkaline body. And that's what baking soda does. So even though you can't say it cures cancer, you can't say it cures a disease, I can say it alkalines and no disease can live in an, in an alkaline body. So there you go. If there's any of these products that you're interested in and you want more information, you can either go to ewsforlife.com or I'll put the links down below. I really hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments down below about if these things have worked for you, what you personally like to use, and click the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this. And until next time, bye guys.